Covington Parks and Recreation Manager Greg Stacy tells me the pool needs around a half million dollars in repairs and improvements. There's a leak that's in the pool. Um, the pool's kind of shifting down this hill that you see here. Uh, it needs a new roof. Um, there's just a lot of financial um, support that this pool needed. After taking a hard look at the numbers and given the Brent Spence Companion Bridge would soon displace the pool, city leaders decided to pull the plug on fixing it and reopening it. That's because on top of the $500,000 in one-time costs, there's still the yearly cost to run it. You see this path here? Well, the Brent Spence Quarter Project will come almost to this area, so the pool must go anyways. But the feds are offering to make good on the loss of the facility. Covington will get $100,000 to create a new plan for the park, which actually runs from 5th Street south to 9th Street. The city's also receiving $1.3 million for the loss of the pool. We'll look towards either the south side of the park or to the north side of the park. Um, this, unfortunately, is the skinniest part of our park, and that's going to be the most affected. Um, so we will look to build something probably towards the south or north end. I asked whether the city is looking to build another pool or if it's considering a splash pad like what exists in the Latonia neighborhood. If that's what the community wants, um, we'll look at that um, depending on what we can offer. We'll kind of take that into consideration. Uh, but yeah, it's really working with the community and the commission and trying to come to an agreement and get something solid. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.